India is an adventurous paradise. You head out for a holiday, which quickly turns into a survival situation. A dream turns into a nightmare. I'm thirsty, I'm tired, I'm hungry and I'm lost. Shelter, water and food become a priority. A fire to keep you warm. But how? I'm Chandan Lahiri from OTS Survival School. I'll give you some tips and show you some tricks to use in a self-reliant situation. Do not think problems can only happen to other people. It can happen to you. When I'm going out into the wilderness, whether it be the jungle, the mountain, desert, sour flats, one thing you will always need is water. Even if it's cold and you're not as thirsty, you will still need to keep rehydrating yourself. In a hot environment, you'll need more water. In a cold environment, you'll possibly need less water. The problem with water out in the wilderness, uh, with so much of habitation everywhere, much of the water that you'll find might look clean, but it will be contaminated. Always, always, always purify it by some form. When you're on the trail, you don't have a campfire going, you're still walking, you've run out of water, you found a water source, and you're thirsty. What do you do? You need some form of purification method that you need to carry to ensure that you don't fall sick by ingesting contaminated water. And the thing that you need to carry is possibly something like this, in a small little pack like this, water purifying tablets, dumped up in your pack. A simple little box like this, it's got purifying tablets inside. And the advantage of these tablets is they're very effective. And there are a whole lot of these inside, as you can see, there are lots of them. And one tablet is good enough for a liter of water. So what you need to do is collect some contaminated water, lay it down, obviously open the lid. Okay, let me put it here, I don't want to spill whatever water I have. Take one tablet out of this pack, that's one tablet. Take your bottle of water and dump it into this, like so. And now, cap it up and let it be for about half an hour. You can just agitate it a little bit so that it starts dissolving. Now just leave the bottle with the water with your tablet inside for about half an hour, at the end of which this would be clean drinking water. It might be contaminated now, but after I've put the tablet in, half an hour is what it'll take, 30 minutes, to make this water drinkable. You don't need to put the whole tablet um, at one go. You can also crush it, you can break it up into little pieces and protect this from moisture, protect it from sunlight. Keep it in the container. You don't want direct sunlight hitting the tablets. The potency will go down. It won't be as effective for as long as it's supposed to be. So that's it. A simple thing like this can prevent a lot of nasty diseases, giardia, typhoid, and dysentery, diarrhea, all kinds of waterborne diseases can happen if you drink contaminated water. But just carry a little container like this and you are fairly sure not to be affected by waterborne diseases. But read the instructions very carefully because each manufacturer, the potency of each tablet might be different. I've got two of these cans from the same manufacturer. This is a smaller can, which is one tablet for one liter. The other can that I have, which is slightly bigger, that is one tablet for five liters of water. So be very careful. Read the instructions carefully. Don't use more than is necessary. Don't use less than is necessary. Don't put one of these tablets into five liters of water and don't put one of the five liter tablets into one liter of water. Be careful about that. And always carry something with which to purify your water. It can save your life and it can happen to you. Learn to adapt, improvise, innovate and overcome. To learn more tips and tricks, visit this site. I'm Chandan Lahiri and I hope to see you soon at the OTS Survival School. Leave nothing but footprints, bring back nothing but memories.